A lot. Okay. Andy Redler with the Greater Dallas Restaurant Association. I'm here with David Denny with the Denny Law Group. And I'm just going to tell you, we're redoing this because uh, we just taped it a few minutes ago and got our knees. It's alive again. For the better part of 20 minutes. And so um, it looks as though we are. And shame on the people that knew that and didn't tell you. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I put that, I, I blame them. I, yes. Yes. It's just not our fault. Yeah, no, they're part of the problem. They, yeah, okay. correct. So uh, we, we'll be getting cues if we change up and you see a shoe or a foot or a close up of a chin. You can see a shoe or a foot. We want you to see a face also. Correct. <laughs> Correct. So I want to thank you, David, for your time. We're talking about uh, um, a little bit about uh, basically how you got into this business, how, why you like this industry, why are you involved in this industry. And we're also going to talk a little bit about the legal uh, legal uh, symposium that you're putting on right. at 3015 at Trinity Grove. So I just kind of wanted to talk to you a little bit about how did you get in this business, in this industry? What do you do? Um, so about a dozen years ago, I was a young lawyer, younger lawyer, and uh, you know I didn't. Uh, my my hobby was not going to a, the Cowboys game on the weekend or going to the Rangers and spending you know four or five hours tailgating and going to the sport. My my hobby and fun was to go have a four-hour dinner and drink a couple bottles of wine and I tried I mean I asked myself as a, as a young lawyer how can I is there any way to dovetail my avocation and my job um, because I think maybe I'll enjoy this career a lot more if I'm doing something I like because otherwise it looks like it might be pretty boring mm -hmm. and over the past dozen years I've been very very successful at merging those two things perfect so um, it, and so, you know, I read somewhere in some book, you can uh, you can make work out of the thing that you love or, or your hobby or whatever, then you'll have a happy life. And I thought, oh, it's, probably can't achieve that, but let's see. And I knew I knew some people in the industry, just a few, who were very gracious to sort of help me figure out um, how I could help them. And a handful of small, you know, just a thimble full of clients turned into, you know, uh, a 12 year and, and counting career and we've had uh, I've had my firm for 10 years perfect perfect let me just take a look at this real quick we're just we're still doing fine oh we're, our faces we're, are we're good our faces in, our faces are in, in the frame in the square okay so that's perfect um so you guys do a great service for the restaurant association and for uh, restaurants in general in this area and that is put you know part of this is putting on that symposium that you do and yeah this is, I think it's this is third year that you're doing it it is it's the third year we started in 2015 um, we always have it at the end of October or first of November right sort of in a low a low time yeah. always have it on a Monday in the afternoon so people can come right. it's uh, it's it's open to restaurateurs restaurant executives managers um, it's free and it's a half day conference and a happy hour that is uh, geared toward giving restaurant folks uh, a a good chunk of walking around knowledge about some of the stuff that we do. So our law firm is, our, our trademark is that we're a nose to tail law practice, which is which which is supposed to mean, somebody somebody asked me recently, does that mean you bird dog people and you've always got your nose right on their butt? And I was like, that is not what that was supposed to mean. I never thought it could mean that. Okay. Apparently you don't know food lingo. Yeah. But nose to tail means you use the whole hog, right? So right. we do everything that a hospitality company would need, the kind of law that they yeah. need to do from, from formation to sale, everything between real estate, liquor, employee handbooks, all that stuff. So everybody in our firm has sort of a discrete skill set and they all speak on their own topic. So in the past, we've talked about wage and hour, we've talked about how to raise private equity, we've talked about a bunch of different things. Um, and this year, we're gonna talk about, um, we're gonna talk about trade secret protection and uh, non-competes and what to do if you're out driving around with your real estate broker, sort of real estate concerns to think about before you get to a lease or an LOI. Okay. Um, how not to be so close to a school or a church that you can't sell alcohol. But mm -hmm. You need to know that when you're driving around, not when you're signing the document or after. It's even worse when you signed it, yeah. um, which happens all the time. So, oh, yeah, it's the worst. So, um, <laughs> and then we always have a special session. First couple of years we had uh, uh, a media panel with yeah. some great food writers, uh, local food writers and bloggers, and um, that was really fun. And then we had a, re a real estate panel to talk about the, the real estate market. 
Uh, last year we had a panel about the bubble, the non-existent restaurant bubble. Yeah. Um, and this year, our sort of special session, our end session, is going to be, um, we're, we're sort of co-presenting with uh, a group called Trident Response. The Trident Response Group is a, a security and safety and, I mean, I, I, I'm not even going to try to to tell about what they do because yeah, I could, could not do it justice. Yeah. But it's a company made up of, um, of special operators and um, they provide all kinds of interesting services. Uh, they have a shooting range in their office, for God's sake. Yeah. It's amazing. And but, personal protection stuff, too. I mean, yeah. they do all that stuff. Um, and so they have helped us work to work up a, an active shooter protocol for the conference. And we're going to war game through an active shooter scenario with everybody there, uh, which doesn't mean that we're all going to be running out of the doors. It means that we're going to be talking about it. Right. Sort of a big group roundtable, but it will be guided by these guys. Okay. Um, you know, the first 15 minutes, you know this, this, and this. What do you do? What do you do? Okay, here's how we're going to learn about muster points and lockdowns and um, taking roll call and figuring out, you know, if, if you don't have a digital um, roster of your employees or you mm -hmm. don't have a way to mass text everyone or whatever, like, what does that mean for you? And um, the reason that we're doing it is because just in 2017, there have been five, maybe six active shooter scenarios in restaurants and bars in the United States. Um, that's not a whole lot, but it's enough that independents need to be thinking about it. Yeah. Because big chains, hotel companies, they've got security departments, they've got security consultants that put together you know, three ring binder, uh, disaster plans, emergency plans, and independents don't have that. And a lot, I mean, I would say 98% of my clients have never thought about what, what they would do, how they would train for, what happens if a disgruntled employee comes in and um, takes hostages and starts shooting up the place. Yeah. Or, so it's usually either disgruntled employees or domestic violence um, that's, that's unrelated to anybody right. in the restaurant. It just happens. Um, really scary stuff because it could be catastrophic. So, so Clint Bruce is bringing a, a panel, basically. For yeah, so two guys from Trident. Yeah. Um, they are uh, a former ranger and a former uh, CIA operator. Um, who, I mean, worked the Jakarta bombing and, you know, they have exposure to these things in Europe that happens, but it does happen way more in Europe. We are lucky about that. Right. Um, it was a very high profile one last year where somebody walked up to a, an outdoor cafe in Paris and started shooting people with a machine gun. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't, we're not necessarily going to address the specifics of that, but we want people to understand how to train on it. Um, and so, and so the, the employment part that we're going to talk about, smart termination, smart termination in your restaurant is to help segue into the active shooter scenario because a lot of times it's disgruntled former employees that have come in and started shooting up the place. So smart termination, how to, how to wisely terminate employees and things like letting other people know and making sure that you change codes. And I mean, maybe, maybe we end up recommending that people start using punch codes, key, yeah. key card access to get into the back of a restaurant not that expensive, all things considered. I can't tell you how many times I visited um, some of our members mm -hmm. and literally just walked in the, in the kitchen and the door was wide open the whole time. Oh, yeah. And it's just, it, 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 Scary. it's not something you think about mm -hmm. until you're in that situation and then it's too late. Right. So talk so, to us a little and bit. It, well, it's, and it's not, so it's not a, it's not a conference for lawyers, right? It's, right, that's what it's, I was gonna it's, say. It's, a, it's just a business conference. And so we're not gonna be talking about section number this and you know, subpart A of whatever code. Yeah. We're just going to be talking about this is how you, this is how we recommend you do it. Best practice, best practice, and you know we'll open up the happy hour and um, people get a drink and then we'll go through our our active shooter war gaming and um, might take an hour, might take an hour and fifteen minutes, might, I mean might take forty five minutes. Maybe, maybe maybe nobody plays well and we have to shut it down. I don't know. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think so either. Um, <laughs> But we have such an interactive group of people. It, and it isn't just open to clients of our firm. I mean, it's really there just to sort of elevate the industry as a whole. Yeah. Um, so anybody, anybody really any in restaurant, restaurant people, space yeah. is welcome to come to this. Right. So, so we have sponsors for the conference. And, you know, try to, obviously, they're helping us out. So they're a sponsor. Sure. Um, and, and so we want to sort of protect the restaurateurs from having um, a bunch of vendors show up and sort of paw at them. Yeah. Um, and so... so the reason that we have sponsors is to help defray the cost of putting on the conference, but also... So they can come for free. <laughs> yeah, so they can come for free. 
um, but also to sort of isolate the group and, and really make it um, an owner executive manager session. Um, so it's a 3015 Golden, which is at Trinity Groves, and it's Sharon Ben Meter's event space uh, in the Trinity Groves project. It's October 30th, starts about 1. We'll start doing check ins earlier than that, probably 1230. Okay. Just, you know. um, and it's a, it's a great time. The, the, it's, it's, we don't take ourselves that seriously. I mean, with this group, you couldn't possibly. You can't. Right? Um, and I've seen the agenda. And I, the, just the, the, the names of each of the sessions alone is, is, is a level of creativity. It's not boring. I can tell you that. It should, it should be. It won't be. Um, there's a little PowerPoint. But that little PowerPoint never killed anybody. Um, no. But that's just because people want the PowerPoint. They, they need a visual. They yeah. want a visual. But you won't. It's not like we're speaking to the. Anyway. Well, we emailed out the PowerPoint to, you know, 60 people last year after. Okay. Because um, they just wanted it to. You know, they, I think some people used it to train on. I would imagine, um, which is great. You know, and that that that's, training. and that, the great thing about that, David, is that you know somebody I know several people that went to this conference last year and literally walked out and were implementing things from this session the week after. That's great. So I like to hear that. Yeah. So we will have uh, at the bottom of this video, we will have the link once it goes live. Uh, we will we will put that, and I'm also going to include a very brief blog that David wrote about his, uh, he took a food tour around Dallas, and that was pretty, uh, it was very interesting. Thanks. Um, I think it would be good for, uh, for you, it's good reading. Uh, if anything, to help understand kind of the state of the industry and where it's at right now, sort of your Jerry Maguire moment, as you call it. Yeah, that was the, um, the purpose of it was just sort of lay bare the, the strength of the independent market here. Yeah. So we're going to, you know, we had a little discussion about that, but the opportunity uh, to really get, um, in essence, it's like having a free, free legal advice, uh, more or less. Well, we certainly don't call it that. No, of course not. So, <laughs> but, the, uh, but the opportunity is, is out there to really get some, uh, to walk away with some things that you can, can literally implement from day one. Um, as a, as a member benefit, and, and frankly a non-member, just an industry oh, yeah. benefit. Right. Really. Right. I mean, if they're, if when members come, it's great. When non-members come, we want them to learn about the GDRA and the yeah. benefits that come with, with that. Uh, the GDRA has been a part of sort of helping to push this for the last, the first two years and this year. Um, instrumental in helping get the word out. Uh, and, I mean, there are members, there are members who are CPAs who have have clients that I've never met before and they sort of rope them in and bring like I, I can't really describe what it's going to be just come yeah. just come you know um, and they showed up and they introduced themselves and said I know this guy brought me and sort of like bringing somebody to church right you, just, yeah. you don't know what to expect you just hope it's good and uh, we try to put on a good a, pr a good program and, I, I, and we've had I think we've had some success with it in the last couple of years I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it being even bigger this year we are too David well, thank you for your time we uh, we appreciate uh, everything that you do for the organization and by the way David uh, is in line now for um, president of the GERA I think about four or so years in now so one of our one of our tenets that we're working on right now is that we're going to build leadership and longevity within the organization and so David uh, has graciously stepped up and I think and it's going to be 2020 I think it's it sounds very science fictionish to it me. does it does like space odyssey of right. some sort so um, but we're pleased that we pl we're pleased that you're on board. We're pleased yeah. with your commitment and your commitment to the oh, industry. Thanks. So thanks. thank That's you, great. and we it's look easy. forward to seeing you. The date again? October 30. October 30 at 3015 Trinity Groves. The address, the link, everything to register will be in there. Right. Thank you. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you.